I believe that we could do better collectively and I have a lot to share on the topics that I've experienced as an individual coming into my own and becoming a black female artist. If you were someone like me, a dreamer of becoming an artist like Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Pablo Picasso, Mary Cassette, Frida Kahlo, there was no place to go and no place to grow. Because in my community, resources like that did not exist. When I commenced first grade, I was bused from one end of town to another section of the community. At that moment of time, I was introduced to sculpting with aluminum foil, drawn with pastels, drawn upside down, gesture drawing, and linear drawings. Um, but what I really fell in love with was color mixing with paint. And it was just something very fascinating about how you can just get another hue of colors just by blending you know, some of the basic primary colors like yellow and blue, red and yellow, and how you can blend certain colors to get orange and turquoise. And I was just very, very fascinated of what you can achieve. What I realized in these moments of being assigned a task that if a person told themselves that they can't, then they won't produce any output. But if they said to themselves that I can and turn off the reasons of doubt within their minds, then they can and they will produce an output. In spite of not having access and tools um, within my community as far as wanted to learn about how to become a visual artist. Um, I found pockets of artistic inspirations from the most unusual places. For an example, like the resourceful woman in my community, starting with my mother. One day I came home from school and our living space, which was actually renting out the basement of someone's home, was completely transformed from a dungeon to the most contemporary space you will ever see for a basement. Her demonstration alone taught me that just because your circumstances may not be as favorable doesn't mean that you can't make the best use of what you have. 